to Unit 7, Exercise 7. These are the directions over here on the left. Let's read them together. Characters and strings. Three letter and acronyms are common in the business world. For example, in Java, you use the IDE, Integrated Development Environment, in the JDK, Java Development Kit. We use this to write programs used by the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine, that you might send over a LAN, the Local Area Network. Those are all in acronyms, right? Programmers can even use the ac an acronym TLA to stand for three letter an acronym. So, what are we going to do? We're going to write a program that allows a user to enter three words and display the approximate three letter an acronym in all uppercase letters. If the user enters more than three words, ignore the extra words. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We have our starter code here, and I put the starter code in the information box if you don't have it and you want to use a Java program to write this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start declaring variables here on line 6. So I'm going to backspace over the comment, and I'm going to put in variables. So the first one I, I'm going to put in, since we're talking, since we're getting information from the user, I'm going to use scanner input new scanner system in, like we always do. Next variable I'm going to enter is string TLA is equal to, and I'm going to have a bit blank. I'm also going to initialize entry. The next thing I'm going to initialize is the length of the string, int string length. Now I'm going to initialize I input. Next I'm going to initialize account and I'm going to set it to zero. I'm going to set max to three. I'm going to set a char C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt the user to enter three words on one line separated by a space. So next time I'm going to grab whatever the user input. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to have the string length be uh, the whatever the length of what they input. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to the three letter an acronym the character to uppercase at the first whatever the letter the first letter of that word is so i'm going to go tla plus equals character to uppercase entry dot char at zero so it's, we're just taking whatever he wrote and we're going to put the first letter the uppercase next thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the count so we're going to plus plus count. So now in order, order to run through the string and get the first letter of the first three letters, I'm going to do, use a for loop. I'm going to initialize it to one. 
as long as it's less than the length of the string, I'm going to increment it one time. That's going to be for my for loop. Add an opening curly brace. I'm going to put another uh, loop in here as long as the count is less than max. Our max amount is three, right? Uh, of course, the loop also takes the opening and closing curly brace. Well, first I'm going to have to go through the word itself. So I put another if loop in here. So I set it at empty until I fill it. So inside this loop, I'm going to increment i right there. I'm going to set c to be whatever's at that particular i. So I'm going to pull out that char character. Now I'm going to set that character to uppercase because we have to print out uppercase. And I'm going to add the, uh, the character to the three letter acronym. Now I'm going to increase the count. So finally here I need to output the three letter and acronym. So I'm going to print out the original phrase was, so I'll pull that out, and I'll put the three letter an acronym is, and I'll pull that out. There you should be able to see the code a little better here. Let me run my code, see if I have any mistakes. Okay, it tells me to enter three words. I put it, please stop this. Enter. The original phrase was please stop this three letter and acronym is PST. So it worked. There you go. So now since everything's working, I can put test. So it'll give me my grade. Let me pull this back. Now to submit this, what I need to do is I need to copy and paste this into a document. So I drag over everything making sure I get that last closing curly brace. Some of you guys forget that. Okay, I right click copy. Okay, I'll pull up, um, I can pull up notepad, but it's okay if you use Word. And I'm gonna copy and paste it into here. I'm going to, the good thing about Notepad is you can save it as a Java file. I go File, Save As. So 
So what's the name of our program? I think it's three letter and acronym dot Java. And it's all ready to turn in.